Marine Corps has played an active role in San Diego history ever since the Marines from the Sloop of War, Cyan, seized Old Town during the Mexican-American War in 1846. Marines have been stationed at the Recruit Depot since 1921, when most of the buildings to your front were constructed. These buildings, known as the Arcade, were designed by world-famous architect Bertram Goodhue. The Arcade is among 25 buildings that have qualified for inclusion on the National Register of Historic Places and are outstanding examples of Spanish colonial revival architecture. Since 1923, more than a million Marines have completed their recruit training here at Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, and since 1915 at Marine Corps Recruit Depot, Paris Island in South Carolina. Regardless of where Marine attended boot camp, you can rest assured that they received the toughest, most physically and mentally demanding recruit training offered anywhere in the world. Some individual techniques and methods may have evolved over the years, but the focus and adherence to our core values of honor, courage, and commitment are as strong today as any time in our history. Today, the Marines of Company K accept the responsibilities to safeguard this proud tradition as they step forward to join this rich heritage. Ahead of them lie bright futures that will no doubt add to the proud Marine legacy that they now rightfully claim as their own. Spiritual development plays an important part in the making of a United States Marine. Lieutenant Kai Chur, Chaplain Corps, United States Navy, will deliver the graduation prayer. Ladies and gentlemen, please rise. Let us pray. Almighty God, we thank you for watching over us and sustaining us as a nation. We thank you for our leaders. Today is one of the days that we fulfilled our calling to make Marines of the United States of America for the better future of the world. We are so grateful for those courageous young men and women. 13 weeks ago, they left their home as young adults, high school graduates. Today, standing before you and our nation, the well-trained, equipped, and organized professionals, following the footstep of Chastity Polar, John Baslow, and every noble man and women in the history, willing to fight for the causes of this great nation. We ask your blessing be their protection. Wherever they go, your mighty power go with them. We also thank you for their family and friends, for their support. Because of them, we are 100% ready for the mission. In your holy name we pray. Amen. Thank you. Please be seated. Take your pulse, sir. Yes, sir. The Commanding General, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, welcomes you to what is a historical event in the life of a Marine. Their graduation from boot camp. Approximately 40 weeks each year for the past 100 years, new Marines have departed San Diego for service with units of the Marine Corps around the globe. The primary mission of the Recruit Depot is to provide basic training to recruits enlisted west of the Mississippi, which represents approximately 51% of all applicants in the Marine Corps each year. The Depot is also home to Recruiter School and Drill Instructor School. All of our efforts here are geared toward one end, producing America's finest fighting force, the United States Marine Corps. 
This morning, Company K, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Recruit Training Regiment, will form and march in the parade. Following the pass and review, the graduating Marines will return front and center of the reviewing stand for final dismissal. The staff for today's parade is comprised of Marines from the Recruit Training Regiment. The Commander of Troops is First Sergeant Christopher M. Thomas, and the parade adjutant is Staff Sergeant Aaron J. Mencias. Marching units are now being called to attention, and the adjutant's command, sound adjutant's call, will begin today's parade. Marching in today's parade are 608 of the graduating Marines from Company K. Among the 608 Marines are two Marines who displayed outstanding performances in two individually graded events. Private Emmanuel Zachary from Platoon 3,226 is the company high shooter, scoring a 334 out of 350. Lance Corporal Isaac J. Guerrero from Platoon 3,225 is the most physically fit Marine, scoring a 300 out of 300 on the physical fitness test and a 300 out of 300 on the combat fitness test. They will be receiving awards from the Marine Corps Association and Foundation. Present today is the company undergraduate's recruiter, Sergeant Kristen Navarro. Also present today is the primary marksmanship instructor with the platoon high shooting average of 206 out of 250 for platoon 3,226, Corporal Zachary Nielsen. Rock Root training is comprised of subjects required to produce basic Marines who function effectively in garrison are trained in rudimentary individual field and combat skills, and practice the personal and professional traits which distinguishes them as Marines. Examples of these traits are discipline, the achievement of self-control and self-awareness which assures respect for authority, instant and willing obedience to orders, and the self-reliance to maintain or improve those traits which exemplify a Marine. Military bearing consistently demonstrating military presence and personal awareness, as well as the proper wearing and maintenance of uniforms. Esprit de Corps, acquiring the common spirit of the Marine Corps that inspires enthusiasm, devotion, pride, initiative, teamwork, aggressiveness, determination, moral courage, integrity, camaraderie, and the burning desire to work with and for others towards excellence in common goals. For 248 years, Marines have fought and won whenever and wherever the nation calls. In the harshest conditions, over the most brutal terrain, and against the most formidable enemies, Marines defend the ideals of freedom with grit and tenacity. Although battlefields change and capabilities evolve, History proves that true victory comes from the individual Marine with steeled resolve, the drive to overcome any obstacle, and the warrior spirit to fight on against all odds. It takes that steadfast faithfulness, semper fidelis, to core, country, and each other that abounds throughout our storied legacy. Marines today remain in combat for deploy throughout the world, confronting every challenge with courage, loyalty, and faithfulness. They are resolved to be the most ready when the nation is least ready. To defend freedom anytime and anywhere. To stand ready to aid those devastated by natural disasters. To pay tribute to those who have forged our proud legacy. And to honor the families and loved ones who faithfully stand beside us. For the Marines of Company K, today marks the end of the 13-week recruit training cycle. 
They have marched countless miles at Camp Pendleton, as well as on this parade deck, and have been trained as are all Marines as basic riflemen. In addition, due to an intensive physical training program, their strength and endurance have doubled since their arrival aboard the Recruit Depot. They are Marines, qualified to take their places in the ranks of the world's finest fighting organization. The platoons are now being aligned from left to right in order to get them into their exact positions for the parade. next portion of the ceremony will be our national anthem. We welcome veterans and members of the armed forces to join us in rendering appropriate honors with a military salute. For guests who have not served in the military, it is proper etiquette during the national anthem to place their right hands over their hearts and for those in the audience wearing headgear to remove it. Will the guests please rise for the presentation of the colors. Ladies and gentlemen, 
our national anthem. Thank you. Please be seated. At the command, post the colors. The color guard moves into position within the parade. This signifies that the entirety of the parade has been formed and is ready to be presented to the command. Adjutant now presents the assembled command to the commander of troops.
At the command, Officer Center March. All unit commanders and guide on bearers march to the front and center of the formation. Historically, it was at this point that commanding officers would issue orders and instructions to the unit commanders. Following this, the unit leaders would face about, return to their units, and pass the information along to their Marines. Throughout our nation's history, millions of men and women have earned the title United States Marine. Many who have helped shape our history join us here today. In keeping with the tradition of once a Marine, always a Marine, we would like to recognize them. At this time, those in the audience who have served as Marines, please rise. Ladies and gentlemen, a round of applause for their dedicated service to Corps and country. Thank you. Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the battalion commander for 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Lieutenant Colonel M. Matthew Phelps. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen, family and friends, distinguished guests. On behalf of the Commanding General of Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego in the Western Recruiting Region, Brigadier General James Ryans, and the commanding officer of the Recruit Training Regiment, Colonel Peter Rumler, 
It is my pleasure to welcome you to the graduation ceremony for Company K. It is also my distinct pleasure to welcome today's parade reviewing official, Sergeant Major Michael Collins of the 6th Marine Corps District. Sergeant Major, we're honored to have you with us today. Before I talk about these, these incredible young people behind me, I'd like to recognize a few groups that made their success possible. First, let me recognize those impressive Marines you see wearing the distinctive green campaign covers. They are, of course, the legendary Marine Corps drill instructors. From the moment a recruit arrives here at the Recruit Depot, a drill instructor is with them 24 hours a day, seven days a week, everywhere that they go. Their impact on the recruits is permanent. Let's face it, of the thousands of people we meet in our lives, few will leave a lasting impression. But no Marine will ever forget the name, the face, or that gentle, loving voice of their drill instructor. Seated next to the reviewing stand is another special group. This is the family and friends of Kilo Company. These families know firsthand the time, dedication, and sacrifice it takes to make Marines, and they take on additional responsibilities at home so that, so that their Marines can be here focused on the mission. Please give a round of applause to the families of Kilo Company. Every one of these Marines' journeys began with one of the hardworking Marine Corps recruiters that canvasses the nation on their mission to enlist the next generation of Marines. Today, Marine Corps Recruiting Command is represented by Sergeant Navarro of Recruiting Substation, Imperial Beach, California. He recruited our honor graduate, Lance Corporal Guerrero. Sergeant, thanks for being here. Congratulations. And finally, while most of recruit training happens right here in, in, aboard the depot, the recruits spend a few weeks of their, of their time up at Edson Range on Camp Pendleton with the talented instructors of Weapons and Field Training Battalion. They learn essential skills like marksmanship and other, and other field skills that they'll need as they continue in their careers. Today, we have the honor of having the primary marksmanship instructor for our platoon with the highest shooting average, platoon 3226. Corporal Nielsen is with us today. Corporal, thanks for being here. Now, these young people behind me are truly some of the best this nation has to offer. When they arrived here, they were young and fit, 18 years old on average. 99% of them graduated from high school, four already had college degrees, and they're obviously in better shape than most people their age. They come from every corner of the globe, in this case, eight different countries, as far away as Ghana, Nigeria, South Africa, Vietnam, and some from right across the street here in San Diego. But wherever they came from, it was a common goal that brought them together, the goal of becoming United States Marines. Since they arrived here and stood on our yellow footprints, we've trained and evaluated them in the attributes that make Marines unique in the world. We've hardened them by developing their physical and mental toughness. We've indoctrinated them core values, honor, courage, and commitment, so they'll be Marines of exemplary character. We've hardened them by developing their physical and mental toughness. We've instilled in them a bias for intelligent action, so that as small unit leaders, they'll be able to decide, act, and communicate on the battlefields of tomorrow. I hope when you're reunited with your Marines, you notice a few changes. They should stand a little taller, look a little leaner. They'll look you in the eye and they'll say strange things like, yes, sir, and yes, ma'am. You won't have to ask them to clean up after themselves, and I promise you, they know how to make their beds. Behind those things is what I'm most proud of, through their courage in coming here, through physical, mental, emotional, spiritual transformation. They've fully committed themselves to serving our Corps, and I'm honored to serve alongside them. Ladies and gentlemen, I present to you 608 young people who can now and forever claim the title United States Marine. Excuse me for a moment while I turn my back on you to address the company one last time. Good morning, Marines. Now, Kilo Company, I know when you got here a few months ago, the furthest thing from your mind was graduation. You were thinking, what in the world have I gotten myself into, and how do I get them to stop yelling at me? When you get home this weekend on your well-deserved leave, people will look up to you. They'll be impressed and amazed by your transformation. 
Your friends will ask you how you did it. And when they ask you, I want you to take them for a walk right on down to your recruiting station. Yeah. I promise you, your drill instructors would like to meet your friends. Our Corps' legacy of being first to fight and never giving up now rests with you for safekeeping. The Eagle Globe and Anchor that we handed you as you, as you, as you reach the top of the Reaper represents that legacy. And for as long as you wear it, you represent the entire history of our Corps and every Marine who came before you. Be proud of yourselves. Be proud of what you've accomplished. As you go forward in your lives and your careers, be worthy of the title you've earned. On behalf of all the officers, drill instructors, and support personnel here at Marine Corps Recruit Depot San Diego, let me be the first to wish you fair winds and following seas. Semper Fidelis Marines, and welcome to our Corps. Now taking their position in the reviewing area is today's parade reviewing official, Sergeant Major Michael A. Collins, Sergeant Major, 6th Marine Corps District. He is accompanied by Sergeant Major Orange O.A. Levy, Sergeant Major, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, and the Western Recruiting Region. Sergeant Major Collins is a native of Amy, Louisiana. He enlisted in the Marine Corps in June of 1998 and underwent recruit training at Kilo Company, 3rd Recruit Training Battalion, Marine Corps Recruit Depot, San Diego, California. Following recruit training, Sergeant Major Collins attended Marine Combat Training at Camp Pendleton, California. He completed initial training at Metal Workers School, Aberdeen Proving Grounds, Maryland, in April of 1999. He has served in a variety of challenging billets and numerous commands to include Welding Shop Non-Commissioned Officer in Charge and Platoon Sergeant, 2nd Tank Battalion, and Marine Wing Support Squadron 374. Canvassing Recruiter, Recruiting Substation Staff Non-Commissioned Officer in Charge, Recruiting Station Fort Lauderdale. Battery and Company 1st Sergeant, 12th Marine Corps Regiment, 3rd Battalion, and Regiment Headquarters Battery. Senior Enlisted Leader, Marine Corps Recruiter School. Battalion Sergeant Major, 3rd Intelligence Battalion. Recruiting Station Sergeant Major, Recruiting Station Frederick. Sergeant Major Collins is currently serving as a senior enlisted leader for 6th Marine Corps District. Sergeant Major Collins' personal awards include the Meritorious Service Medal with Gold Star in lieu of second award. The Navy and Marine Corps Accommodation Medal with Gold Star in lieu of second award. The Navy Marine Corps Achievement Medal with Silver Star in lieu of sixth award and the Combat Action Ribbon. Ladies and gentlemen, please well, welcome Sergeant, Sergeant Major, Major Michael, Michael A. Collins. Collins. Passing review is a tradition within all military units, allowing the unit commander to formally inspect the unit under their charge.
the past 100 years, more than a million Marines have crossed this parade deck and have deployed into conflicts around the world where Marines have earned their trust and dependability. Places such as Guadalcanal, where Marines worked with United States soldiers to win the first offensive victory during World War II. Iwo Jima, where uncommon valor was a common virtue and Marines rose the national flag on top of Mount Sarabachi. Inchon, where Marines assaulted three beaches simultaneously and seized the entire island within four days. Granada, where military members were a part of Operation Urgent Fury to help stabilize a local government. Kuwait, where Marines were a part of Operation Desert Shield and Desert Storm and fought to liberate the city from Iraqi forces. Fallujah, where Marines surrounded the city within 24 hours to commence Operation Vigilant Resolve and take back the city from Al-Qaeda forces. Marjah, where Marines worked with Afghan, British, Canadian, Danish, and Estonian forces in order to remove Taliban forces from the last stronghold in the Helmand province. Even now, Marines are stationed worldwide to answer the call when they are needed. This parade deck is rich in history and tradition, and no Marine trained here ever forgets its sights and sounds. Ladies and gentlemen, as the national flag passes directly in front of you, please rise. Once it passes, you may be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, the Commander of Troops, First Sergeant Christopher M. Thomas, and the Regimental Staff. San Diego, California. <laughs> Series 3,221, Chief Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Jose Salcedo. Platoon 3,221, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Mario Nunez. Two hundred and twenty two, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Stephen Pelay. Platoon 3,223, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Francisco J. Rosario.
Regimental Color Guard is led on the march by the Regimental Color Sergeant, Drill Instructor Sergeant Emmanuel J. Just. Series 3,225, Chief Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Ivan Zamora. And Platoon 3,225, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Asen Yang. Platoon 3226, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Robert W. Roach. Platoon 3,227, Senior Drill Instructor Staff Sergeant Gonzalo Morales. Ladies and gentlemen, if you turn to page 21 of your graduation pamphlets, you will find the Marines Hymn. The Marines Hymn has a history dating back to 1859 and has a long-standing tradition for Marines to face the direction of the music and stand at attention when it is heard. It is now directed that all Marines present who have, and who have served honorably, and ladies and gentlemen, you are all encouraged to join. Sing the words to the first verse as Marine Band San Diego performs Anchors Away, followed by the Marines Hymn. Will the guests please rise? Thank you. Please be seated. Recruit training is the very foundation of the Corps. Each year, recruit training provides thousands of America's finest young men and women with the basic knowledge and skills to function in a profession characterized by its own set of high values and tough standards. The most important thing we do in the Marine Corps is make Marines. The individual Marine is the Corps. That is what we do here. For the Marines graduating today, the long, arduous journey of the last 13 weeks is but a small step into the future of the Marine Corps. As they prepare to fill the ranks of our Corps, they do so with unquestionable support for the high ideals and standards of the United States of America and the United States Marine Corps. Although Company K prepares for their final dismissal from boot camp, their initial training is not over. 
Soon after graduation, there were reports of the School of Infantry, Camp Pendleton, California, where they would continue to be trained to serve as an effective member of a Marine Rifle Squad. The intense initial training that every Marine undergoes is designed to install the fundamental premise that every Marine is a rifleman. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we would like to introduce to you the Marines responsible for ensuring the success of the difficult transition required to become a Marine. The company commander is Captain Cody I. Hubbard. The company first sergeant is First Sergeant Christopher M. Thomas. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in a round of applause for the company staff of Kilo Company. The next portion of the ceremony will be the traditional function of retiring the guidons. Guidons have been carried by the platoons throughout recruit training and are being retired to symbolize the disbanding of platoons. All similar units in the Marine Corps carry such guidons, which identify the unit or a source of pride to each individual member. Note that the honor of carrying these guidons is bestowed upon those Marines who displayed outstanding leadership qualities, motivation, and character, and were selected as the platoon honor graduates. The platoon honor graduates compete for the titles of series and company honor graduate. They are considered the top Marines graduating today and have demonstrated the highest potential for future leadership and responsibility in the Marine Corps. The guidons will now be returned to the drill instructors.
The honor graduates will now be presented a plaque by the battalion commander, Lieutenant Colonel M. Matthew Phelps, and the battalion sergeant major, Sergeant Major Gerardo E. Trevino. Ladies and gentlemen, please hold your applause until all honor graduates have been recognized. Present arms. Order arms. The honor graduate for platoon 3,221 is Private First Class Luke W. Smith from Everett, Washington. The honor graduate for platoon 3,222 is Private First Class Jalen M. Bates Goritz from Irvine, California. The honor graduate for platoon, 3,223, and the series honor graduate is Private First Class, Rodem M. Sonata, from Meridian, Idaho. The honor graduate for platoon, 3,225, and the company honor graduate is Lance Corporal Isaac J. Guerrero, from Chula Vista, California. Lance Corporal Guerrero is also the recipient of the Chesty Puller Award for his outstanding meritorious performance while in recruit training. The honor graduate for platoon 3,226 is Private First Class Dakaris D. Green from Longview, Texas. And the honor graduate for platoon 3,227 is Private First Class Deanda Whitemore from Houston, Texas. Ladies and gentlemen, the honor graduates of Kilo Company. First Sergeant will now give the command to the senior drill instructors to dismiss their platoons. Needless to say, this will be the most welcome command they have received throughout recruit training. Senior drill instructors! Dismiss your platoons! Are you at full soldier? Oh, 
Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes today's ceremony.